Hi, I'm John Emmett and it's a great pleasure to be here at Bosom Sailing Club. We've had a cracking open meeting and it's really something I remember from my past being a very important part of the grassroots sailing and something I, I think uh, we don't talk about enough. We've got all three rigs here, uh, so we're going to talk to the Ilka 4 champion. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Sam Watson. I'm 15 years old and I'm a member of Emsworth Sailing Club, which is just in the same harbour. That's literally just down the road in Emsworth yeah, Harbour. Yeah. And yet you wanted to be interviewed first so you could go home quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's the parking ticket. It's going to run out. So. OK, well, we, 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 won't, uh, we won't get you clamped, hopefully. And uh, apologies for the background noise. I don't think that's in celebration of our open. I guess, <laughs> I guess there's a wedding. I thought they, yeah. uh, they're trying to make the most of the fine weather. But just tell us a little bit about yourself. Obviously, uh, you must be relatively new to the class that's the, the the first boat in the in the series the Ilka 4. Yeah so I began sailing oppies I did quite a lot of um, big events in oppies I did the nationals and the ranking events and then ever since that I haven't really moved on much uh, but I've just been doing some of the local events in the Ilka 4 now. Well it's perfect so more time on the water less time in the car yeah. without stating the obvious what's the biggest difference between the two boats? I think it's a lot easier to sail through waves <laughs> Uh, the offy, you know, bits of sight. Um, it's nice when you have a bit, bit more of a bow at the yes, front and a longer boat. Definitely. Um, I think it's just better to sail. It's more comfortable in the boat, sitting down, and I think it's just better to be out with friends locally than going around doing the big events for me. Yeah, well, this is what I'm trying to coach the, the Grand Prix series. I mean, obviously, I've come slightly further than most, uh, but I thought it was really important to to show my face, and and I thought it was really nice having all three rigs together. Do you, do you have uh, any sort of thoughts about the the next rig You're, you've got a bit of growing to do i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've been uh, i thought about the radio this weekend but i think you know in a, maybe in a year or so next summer i might try moving into the uh, ilk six is it yeah yeah that yeah. no, still tricks me up that's and that's one yeah. of the beauties of the of the class yeah thank you very much for talking i can see your mum in the background <laughs> who's uh, <laughs> yeah. telling telling me to wrap up but cool. yeah congratulations thank you very much And now it's time to talk to the Ilka 6 champion, or for those people who are not familiar with uh, the new class, that's the Laser Radial. Can you yeah. introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about today? Uh, yeah, well, I'm James Curtis. Um, I sail from this club, Bosom. So this is your home club? It is, So yeah. you have no rush to get home? <laughs> no, we're just across the water, actually, over there. Um, yeah, it's actually been the first time sailing here in a while because I've been doing the youths, nationals, and I was lucky enough to go away to Croatia for the Europeans right at the beginning of the season. Oh, wow. Good good work. It hasn't been an easy year to travel, <laughs> no, that's for hasn't. sure. No, yeah. And a bit of uh, home club advantage. It was quite a tidal venue compared to, or should I say complex tidal venue compared to what I'm used to in Portland Harbour. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm definitely used to tide here. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of an advantage knowing the current and how, you know, how shallow you dare go. Um, I didn't dare go very shallow <laughs> at all. I've got a qualifier next weekend and wanted to keep yeah. the foils uh, well, as they came. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you can get the gel coat to drive the next weekend. Oh, dear. You, uh, <laughs> did hit the bottom. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You pushed it too hard. No, uh, yeah. But you uh, you won the event. Uh, who was your sort of closest closest rival? How did it all go? Uh, yeah, Ollie Wilcox was the closest rival. We had uh, some really good battles. Um, like me covering him and a really good tacking battle. Must have been about 10 tacks in about 30 seconds. All good practice. So, uh, yeah, and then I got bored, so I just thought, well, I have to sail off at some point. It can't keep on tacking or uh, we'll end up both last and second to last. So. Yeah, that's what happens when people get involved in a, in a match race within a fleet sometimes. Yeah, yeah it was uh, definitely really good fun, though. Oh, I'm really pleased to hear you say that. Well, yeah. I think, uh, how would you get home if you live just across the water? Well, I could swim, but I've got my boat to take, so I think I might take the car. OK, yeah. I was just thinking that would be a good video with you swimming <laughs> off into the background. Yeah, it would be. Thank you so yeah. much for your time and uh, best of luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, well, thanks. And I'm now going to chat to the first Ilka 7 sailor from the home club. Although I understand this isn't your normal, normal boat. Can you tell us uh, a little bit about the club uh, and who you are and what you normally sail? Yeah, sure. My, my name's Paul Kameen and I've um, really started sailing lasers here at Bosom um, because it was you know, an easy thing to do with young kids. Um, you know, it doesn't that's take long to rig them up. That's a know? really good point yeah. in a time uh, intense society we, we do a good job at spending time on the water not not time doing boat work definitely definitely i mean it's 
there's there's been quite a good fleet that's brewed up here actually because um you know similar people my sort of age with younger children and um it, it's developed into quite a good thing when, you know, when we finish this interview i'm going to try and bend, bend your arm to come and do the masters but we're because we're, we're, there's a lot of people uh in that sort of age group that sort of situation and and this is your your home club i guess because it's it's closest yeah it is yeah I live just up the road so been living down here for about 10 years my wife grew up here and you is know nine I years of sailing there. missing <laughs> yeah exactly exactly oh. it was time to do a bit of sailing for me yeah but yeah well welcome welcome back are you going to be an oppie parent at some point or is i already a, am you yes. already are <laughs> so tomorrow i'll be taking my eldest to hailing island for the uh the second day of the open there yep in, in oppies so and my youngest has just started sailing them here so yeah and it's what, good what was your background we're really pleased to have you in the fleet i, I hope that's gonna stay uh, yeah. what, what were you sailing before so my, my background's probably uh i've done all the youth circuit when i was younger um and then fireflies team racing that uh, sounds my, very familiar <laughs> yeah my, my my home club when i was younger was west kirby up in the so northwest you're, so. Yeah, yeah so that's a lot of team racing it's funny i keep yeah. on thinking those university days were a year or two ago and they really really I know. it was such a long time ago now it's scary but um yeah i mean i'm, try, I'm trying to hopefully grow a fleet here at some point because they're a fantastic boat for a little plug for the firefly you know having um a sort of boat you can sail with your with your youngster yep, yep. um and uh next weekend actually del key are holding an open meeting and they've got a good and firefly get that's fleet. just down the road just uh, around the another, corner yeah there's so many clubs in Chichester I do <laughs> yeah. I, I do struggle I felt I nearly turned up at the wrong one today but that's a <laughs> that's another story but the the laser uh is it, something that you can do yourself very easily um, yes how, we had a lot of boats um here can you just tell us a little bit about the the, the club fleet you've got here and the sort of people who are doing that because yeah yeah sure. you had a lot of the a lot of the boats were from the home club which is always good to see yeah and there's there was quite a few that didn't come out as well I mean the fleet on well, you can talk about later <laughs> yeah exactly well i think you know it's it's a sort of boat isn't it where a lot of people own a own a laser or have got access to a laser you know they're so it's getting the so cover off common <laughs> and uh it's, it's it's not hard to get it all going and uh yeah i guess here you've got a decent radial fleet um and a decent laser one fleet we don't have so many laser 4.7s we have quite a few toppers here as well so but that's the next step, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, they absolutely. come out the toppers, pop them, pop in their class, and we'll be really pleased to see them in the future. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for time. I guess uh, you also don't have a long uh, trip home, so maybe yeah. time for a quick beer. Definitely. Sounds great, John. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you.